Sweet! I just got a gig. Wait a minute. How much should I charge? Now that question I struggle with a lot. How much should you charge for your services? Almost get a little anxious when you get a gig. Cause what is a good price? Are they gonna say no? These are all common questions that go on in my head every single time I get a gig. So over the years, I kind of figured out how much I'm personally comfortable with charging from the minimum end all the way to the maximum. And I'm here to share that with you. Hello everyone, my name is Nick and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now for today's video, we're gonna be going over how much you should charge for a video. Now every single video is different. Every single production is different. Some shoots are 10 days, some, sh some shoots are two hours, some shoots are for friends, some shoots are for, for business acquaintances. There are so many different scenarios in which you can get hired. So it is really hard to pin down the exact amount to charge per video. Now this video is uh, for vid videography purposes. Um, I'll cover the photography side in another in another video, but this one is only for videographers, sorry. So for this example, we're gonna do a one minute product video for a client. Now, like with every production, I'm gonna break this down to three separate sections, the pre-production aspect, the actual production, and post-production. Because a lot of people forget about the pre and the post. They only, they only think about you actually filming the video. And there is a lot of hours dedicated outside of the actual film day. It is important always to write an invoice and break down the exact services that you're providing. So the pre-production, the production, and then also the post-production. If you just throw a, a single price, they may see they may see it as a bit high, but when you break it down, it becomes a lot more reasonable and a lot easier to understand. So let's get into it. All right, now the first thing I wanna go over is pre-production. Now the absolute first thing, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is figure out what type of gear you have and what gear you're going to bring. And then once you do that, go to whatever website, go to whatever website that you want that rents gear and figure out the minimum amount that you can rent out your gear for a day. So for me, on very casual shoots, this is my gear list, and this is how much it's being rented for. So there is no way I will ever go under this amount. There is just no way because you can make more money literally just renting out your gear. And also, never forget about insurance. So a good way to start is to look at your gear and figure out that price point. Now, once you got all the gear stuff figured out, um, we're gonna go into the pre-production. And that is the, the shot list, the script, the setup, the location, all this stuff you do need to figure out. Now you could hypothetically just use your bedroom if you just want it in front of a white screen or you can go outside um, and shoot out in the wilderness depending on which product that you have. So the pre-production element may not take that long, but always, always add those hours into the final tally. So for a video like this, it may take about two to four hours for pre-production. So on the low end, I would charge 50 to $100. Let's add it to the sheet. All right, now the next element of this is the actual shoot day. Now this is where you devise your day rate for your services. If you are on more the beginner end, you could do on the lower end of the spectrum. If you are on the more advanced end, you could do the higher end of the spectrum. Now this day rate is completely up to you and what you feel comfortable with trading your services and your time uh, for cash, essentially. Now living in LA, I've been a part of a whole bunch of shoots and on the low end of a day rate for a videographer, it's about 250 to 300. Now on the high end, I'm not gonna say high end because high end, you could charge whatever the, whatever the heck you want. Like that that top that top five, 10% of, of talent, they could just charge whatever they want. So I'm just gonna say the above average uh, is usually around the six to $800 range. So uh, at minimum, it's around 250 to 300 and at the highest that I've seen for just above average is around $800. Now, if you are new, I would start on the lower end and then gradually build up as your, your confidence and your efficiency and your skill set uh, rise. But I would start off on the lower end and then gradually build up. So we're gonna go right in the middle of, uh, of those rates and then we're gonna add to the sheet. All right, now the, uh, the wonderful, wonderful post-production, the third step of any production process. Now editing, like I said before, often gets overlooked. People just think you go and you shoot and you post. But editing takes a lot of time 
and you don't want to do that for free. Now there are two different ways that you could charge for editing. One is per hour and then the other is a flat rate. Now, if you are going to go the flat rate route, uh, which I do recommend if you're on the, the beginner scale, make sure to write into whatever invoice, how many revisions you are willing to do. Essentially, if you don't do that, they could just ask for revision after revision after revision after revision. And you could be working on this project for three, three, six months. Trust me, I've seen it happen. So always write in the amount of revisions. Now, if you're gonna go on the hourly route, um, normally what I've seen on the lower beginner end is about 18 to $20. So we're just gonna stick with 20. And then on the more advanced or, or above average end, it's around 60. So if you are gonna go the hourly route, you will have to estimate how many hours uh, this project is gonna take you, which is kind of hard when you're a, a beginner. But as time moves on, you, you kind of know how long spe specific things are gonna take. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the rate that I've often seen for people just throwing in their editing services for the beginners is around $100 to $200. So we're just gonna stick with $150. And on the above average end is the $500 to $600 mark. So let's add everything, everything. So let's add everything to the sheet and uh, let's see what this video is gonna cost. Now that price point may seem high, but video production is like insanely undervalued. And there are a lot of people out there just doing like 50, $100 gigs, which does bring down the price point for everyone else. So an important element of this is to be able to walk away from a project that does not fit your budgetary needs. Now I don't, now I don't wanna tell you what you should and shouldn't do. It is completely up to you. But in my advice, this is the minimum amount you should be charging as a newbie. And this is a minimum amount that you should be charging as a kind of like right in the middle. But in the end, it is your time, it is your gear, it's it's what you value. So when taking these gigs, you can you could charge whatever you like, as little, as high as you want. But always keep in mind these three things and these three elements because everything with video production takes time. And with every other job, they compensate you for that time. So why not with video production services? That is it. That is all I have for today's video. Um, I hope you learned something. If you did, make sure to click that subscribe button. Now, if you have any questions about this, you can uh, either send me an email or just drop a comment. I'll make sure to get to everything. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.